watching Hello Nigeria. You are watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Our second guest is here with us in the studio. His name is Ridwan Aditolo and Onitolo, and he's a marketing expert and business developer. And today we're looking at effective marketing skills for the Nigerian market. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Would you say that marketing has now shifted mainly and you know has built has found a new niche, which is social media marketing? Would you say that the traditional marketing has been overtaken by social media marketing? Well, um as it implies, virtually every uh, concept, as it, every product, let's say, has its own uh, objective. When it comes to each of these uh, parlance, they have their role that they play. So we can't say maybe particularly one has taken over one. The social media marketing you see as a result of uh, the vast uh, technology development in the world today. It makes uh, the social media coming very vast. But of course, the traditional marketing that you know still has its own role that is placed. Because uh, without the traditional marketing, of course, you can't even transgress and say that you are already into social media. What do we even know that you know, when we are talking about products and communication, you, of course, you need the traditional marketing, which has to do with uh, sometimes one on one. You have to meet the person that you're talking to about your product so far more and then going forward once you're becoming very big then you can now begin to talk about uh, the other concept which is coming on board today that has to do with uh, social media marketing all right let's look at the various kinds of marketing that we have we've just talked about you know traditional marketing you mentioned that there's the one-on-one -on -one and social media yeah. what other forms of marketing are they we, of course you know we have a lot of them today we virtually have uh, what is uh, called branding, where, which is a part of uh, marketing tools. Apart from the social media, we have digital marketing. We have uh, the, the one that is uh, very trending now, which is, of course, the media marketing when it comes to advertising, advertisements, particularly through the various forms of uh, media on TV, on radio, article marketing, inbound marketing, and a lot of them. So what are some of the key things one should note when marketing, uh, let's say, products? What are some of the things that one should look out for when marketing? Well, basically, before now, before the vast in technology, we have the traditional concept of marketing that has to do with, uh, once you understand your marketing tools first, first you identify what are the marketing mix. You talk about the product in itself. You talk about the price. You talk about the, the place and the people. But of course, today now, you know, it is more vast. We have seven Ps in marketing other than the initial four that we have. We have the, the people itself. We have the, the physical evidence. And then we have the process that you must go through. You know, when taking into cognizance what objective of communication you want to create, you want to sell to your target audience and uh, the time bound. So you have to consider this other three Ps that is coming into place before you consider saying that uh, you are fully blown out into marketing. Now, beyond marketing products, mm. you know, let's look at marketing a brand, a brand that is a person. Yeah. What are some of the key elements you would say? Because right now we're starting to see that back in the day, people who had brands used to market the brand and shy away from marketing themselves. But now we're starting to see that people are pushing their personal brands as much as they're pushing their business brands as well. Mm. So if you were to market a brand, what are some of the things that, what, are, what would be some of the key things that you'd, you focus on to sell your client? Well, when it comes to those uh, areas of uh, concentration, you begin to, first of all, have a feel of what's objective of what you want to sell. Some people today have uh, come up about selling values. You know, when it comes to volume, you have to begin to project very vast. You know, you imagine some content that has to do with creative ideas of what you want to sell about yourself. People have gone a long way to market what is called uh, 
uh, value rather than the product in itself because it goes a long way. It depicts a long-term relationship. It brings about uh, what we call repeat purchase. You know, it brings, it brings about a long-term relationship, particularly other than selling the product in itself. What are some of the most common mistakes that we should avoid when marketing a product or a brand, just general marketing, in, in your marketing in general? Well, there are a lot of errors uh, that has come into place. Like I used to tell some of my clients that, uh, you know, virtually it is uh, everybody that might have knowledge in marketing, but not everybody that is uh, vast in experience when it comes to marketing. So people have uh, more or less uh, ventured into propaganda rather than the key concept of the product. Not very many people have that vast experience when it comes to, let me, let me give you a very good example of a client service sometimes when I got to meet this client and started telling me that in the time past, you know, I've used this kind of concept, I've used that concept, I've been in the market for the past two years and then my product is not known. What happened? It fails to go through the primary process of understanding the concept of the product, understanding the value chain of that product, then research of what people are you going to be talking to, the place where you're going to meet this set of people that you're about to market your product to. So there's a seamless approach that must be adopted at the very instance when you want to create either products, services, or business marketing, you know? So going a long way to understanding the value chain of the product and then understanding where the people are, how to reach them. That is the process through which you're going to reach your audience. All right. It could be in the marketplace, for example. It's not all product, again, that you can take to the marketplace. It could be in the various uh, communities, you know? We have uh, what we call consumer marketing, for example. You can find consumers in the market, but you may find more of them in their various houses. When you define this in stratus, you understand where to meet your people, you understand how to meet them, the reach out communication tool that you need to use to reach out to those audience goes a long way and gives good uh, you know, results. Thank you so much for joining us. Ridwan, how can people follow you on social media? Well, uh, on social media, you can identify me as Ridwan Onitolo, all put together. All right. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.